हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज द वन ऑफ द वीडियोस दैट आई विल बी आई इन फैक्ट दिस इज माय फर्स्ट वीडियो दैट आई विल बी अपलोडिंग फॉर यू पीपल सो दैट यू कैन इजीली नेविगेट थ्रू द पीईओआई वेबसाइट सो दिस वीडियो विल फॉलो मेनी मोर अदर वीडियोस आल्सो सो टुडे फर्स्ट विल ट्राई टू uh add some text to any uh any subject like uh, for example we'll take biology as one of the subjects today and uh, we would like to add some uh text to one of the chapters and uh, i will show you how uh, we can add a text to a particular chapter uh by using a, a free uh, source Uh, a creative common source uh, for example wikipedia which is the uh, freely available uh, encyclopedia online so our first step will be to uh, go to the official website of the peoi so for that you have to type peoi in the google tab and uh, you will be redirected towards the peoi website then you can either click on faculty or on authors so let you can log in so after you click on faculty uh, you will see on the right upper corner you will get these blue uh, boxes where you can find login so uh, if you click on login you will be redirected towards the login profile so where you can uh, login with your credentials so for example i will be logging in with my details so these are my details and this is my secret word and uh, you click on login so after clicking on the login you will be redirected uh, towards uh, the profile page uh, or your profile where in all of your details like your registration details uh, your work status uh, the tasks that you have been that you are uh, that you have selected or for which you are you know uh, working your group and uh, if you are involved in any discussion uh, and your feedback to the website so you can see uh, on the uh, left upper corner there is a tab language there is a, another tab called procedures uh, which you can navigate with the arrows uh, with the respective boxes so Uh, but you can go directly to uh, uh, some of the procedures like uh, editing html tags or editing questions creating questions uploading documents or inserting into the course page summaries concept import html import rtf and import pdf directly from the this menu you can see here if you click in on any one of them you will be directly redirected to the uh, particular procedure but there's an another way to do it also so uh, before you start importing any material to the poi website you have to be sure that you are choosing your particular language so we have so many sections of the language like english french russian spanish arabic german so you have to be sure about which language you are actually working on so uh, but most of the courses here are uh, in english language so uh, i'll select english as a preferred language and afterwards uh, I'll click on the procedures navigation arrow uh, where you can see there are so many procedures that one can go with for example listing chapters uh, which will list chapters of any of the courses and uh, listing concepts and listing overall courses that are offered by PEOI and uh, many others so I'll directly uh, go to uh, edit uh, html text so today actually I'll be showing you how to edit html how to use edit html text procedure as a way to introduce text into the chapters for particular course uh, so uh, if i click on edit html text uh, it will redirect me to the page uh, or either you can do it directly from here you can see uh, the arrow shows it so uh, we'll go to the edit uh, html text here so after clicking on the edit html text we will be um, redirected towards the uh, page where we can edit html text within the website so here we are uh, 
from here you have to select your uh, language which you already selected as English and uh, then you have to choose your field so there are so many fields like uh, accounting uh, administrative law anthropology uh, aerospace engineering uh, and astronomy biochemistry bioengineering banking biology broadcasting and many others so my preferred course uh, for example uh, i'm faculty in biology so i'll select biology as my field and uh, then among the courses i'll select uh, the since there are uh, many other courses that are applied within the field of biology like principles of biology introduction to biology biology and introduction fundamentals of biology the colors here in uh, tell you uh, which courses for which courses the text has been added or which courses have been proposed uh, 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 for example uh, we can see uh, these gray sections these gray sections means that these courses have been proposed and the text has been added to the courses and now the other procedures have to be done so that's a part of uh, another story so we'll mm, go with that in some other video uh, so uh, for example uh, today i'll try to add text to one of the courses for example uh, let me select uh, immunology first okay so i'll select immunology first and it will redirect me to the course of immunology first uh, so here you can see the chapters the sections uh, and the temporary files that may, may have been uploaded by someone so uh, you can see here in there are various sections uh, i mean various chapters so in an overall there are 10 chapters within the uh, course of immunology first so <clears throat> let me add uh, some uh, let, let's uh, go to the immunoglobulins that is chapter 6 so in chapter 6 after we click on the chapter 6 we can see we are redirected to the chapter 6 so you can see there is no text actually added to the chapter 6 and uh, so this is the uh, html page wherein we can edit html i'll show you how i uh, how uh, we can do it uh, this is one of the ways to do it so so let's move to the section uh, introduction so we're actually already at the introduction but if you, if you click on any of the uh, sections you will be redirected to the uh, respective section so uh, for example we are on the introduction section so introduction section is selected and uh, now uh, our main concern is the text so uh, we first have to retrieve text from some uh, free website or if you are uh, really good at writing and you know how to write about a particular subject you can write you know uh, plagiarism free text uh, yourself also uh, so uh, for example uh, today we'll use uh, since i've already mentioned that today we'll be using a free uh, source of text so wikipedia is the free source of text so for that uh, i will go to the wikipedia page so since this section is immunoglobulins and we need to have an introduction about immunoglobulins so let's uh, move to the wikipedia page and we'll type immunoglobulins okay so and then search immunoglobulins so here we are we are on the immunoglobulins uh, page so let us go to the uh, wikipedia immunoglobulin is actually also known as antibody so we'll be redirected to the wikipedia page so here we are this is an antibody or an immunoglobulin uh, so this first part of uh, wikipedia page it can serve as an introduction uh, so for example so what i will do is i'll copy this text from here until here so i'll copy this text and i will paste this text into a word file so here we are this text has been pasted in the word file now uh, 
what we have to do is uh, since we are editing HTML within the uh, uh, within the course so we will have to introduce breaks I mean paragraphs and all those things should be in a proper uh, way so for that what we have to do is we have to introduce some breaks and paras so you should be a bit uh, familiar with the uh, you should be familiar with a little bit of uh, uh, HTML so for introducing breaks we'll use greater than sign then br then less than and greater than signs uh, we can use uh, putting br within them it's a break and uh, at the end of the paragraph you can use the same sign br but it should be followed it should be uh, having a backslash it means that a break has been closed so herein I am closing the break and herein I am starting a break, a line break. So this para, um, this is a particular para and when I am, uh, when I will be uploading this page to the website, this paragraph will be there. Otherwise all the text will get mixed up. So similarly what I can do is, I will introduce uh, breaks on the other uh, sections also. So herein we need a break, so I will paste this br. Here, here we are having another paragraph so we need to close this paragraph so I am introducing a break here in we need to have another start another para here we are closing the para here in we are starting the para and uh, here in we are closing the para okay so so we're done with the text part but the important thing is that once uh, if you are importing text from any uh, uh, free source uh, like wikipedia you need to uh, give a citation from where you have to take your text so from where you have taken your text so for citation purposes i will uh, do it like this i need to do some uh, citation okay so this is this will be our citation so for creating a link towards the page from where I have taken the text, so you need to type P within the brackets, uh, then A with space, then H R E F equal to sign, uh, then inverted commas sign, then closing this and then the name of the page. So for finding out the link, what we'll do is we'll go back to the Wikipedia page. Here we can find the link to this page so uh, you can see on the left side of this wikipedia page you are having here you can see this uh, section and within the tools it shows side this page if you click on this side this page link you can find uh, uh, a link that you can paste within your word file so that you can easily link the page uh, you can see the details here in uh, you can you have uh, so many citation styles so here in we'll be using uh, the chicago style so we'll copy this uh, link this is a permanent link to the page so you will copy this link like with control C and then paste this link within these inverted commas so make sure that the link is within the inverted commas so and after uh, this you will write from where I have, from where you have taken this text you have taken this text from Wikipedia which is a free encyclopedia copy and then pasting it afterwards Okay, we have pasted it and then you need to mention the date when you have retrieved it so the retrieved date is 10th of March 2015 okay so and then the retrieved date okay so here we are done with this page so this page now what we'll do is we'll select all the text within this page okay all the text i have selected then copy this text go back to your uh, poi web page that 
script is already open so within this page you have to find an anchor uh, which starts the text of the uh, section so here you can see uh, anchor text start and then there is anchor text end so within these two anchors we have we can put our uh, text okay so there will be text start and there will be text end these anchors will start a page and then end a page so within these anchors what i will do is there is this uh, after anchor text start enter i'll paste my text so here is my text so my text is within anchor start and uh, anchor text end okay so we are done uh, with adding the text now what we'll do is we'll preview the page before clicking on this preview you can see that there is no text that is uh, present uh, under the section uh, immunoglobulins so after i click on preview it will show me how the text will look in the web page or, or on the uh, website so here you can see the text that i have used from wikipedia the text has been imported to this section so it looks nice uh, it looks nice really nice i mean the paragraphs and all those things uh, and the citation also is there so you need to make sure that the link uh, is working and after you are uh, happy with the uh, import thing i mean you are happy with the text uh, and it looks really nice on the website if it looks really nice on the website and there is no error uh, no nothing i mean no um, wrong thing there then you can click on the save button so if i click on the save this text will be saved on the uh, on the web page so i am clicking on the save it will redirect us again to the same page uh, with the text saved uh, okay so uh, this text has been saved for this section and uh, we are done with the uh, um, editing html text uh, to one of the courses or college immunology within the field biology uh, so for today uh, i think uh, mm, this is enough uh, our next video uh, i'll try to uh, make a video where i will show you how to import an rtf which is uh, much uh, way easier than doing uh, uh, the html thing so so thank you so much uh, for uh, watching this video uh, hope to see you soon Bye-bye.